Sexual harassment in our educational institutions, offices, and even in churches is real. Now, in our sexual harassment campaign dubbed Speak Out, we talked to some university students and they would tell us how or the trauma they go through in the hands of their lecturers. I have with me Purity and she has gone through a lot in terms of sexual harassment. Purity, not her real name, is in level 200 in one of the public universities here in Accra. She says she is still traumatized after being sexually harassed by a lecturer more than a year ago. We will talk normally as lecturer, as a lecturer and student. We had that. So one day after lecture, I then he tried to touch me inappropriately. And I fought it and ran out of the lecture hallway. way it happened. It's affected my academic performance because this thing happened a week to examination. There are some times that I would open my book and I would just see myself going through everything I had gone through from the beginning. And I would close my book because I'm not going to learn. I know that deep down nothing was going to enter my head. So yeah, when... My results came, I had failed his course. So did you report him to the school authorities? Yes, I did. I reported to the school authorities and I'm grateful. They worked for me, they helped me and I got my initial grade back. She says she cannot tell whether the lecturer was sanctioned by school authorities and the sight of him alone gives her much pain. Where is that lecturer now? I still see him on campus. And to my see him on campus, I try to hide. I run away I, because I don't want to meet him. I think something crazy will happen in my head and I will just run mad. I will go crazy seeing him. So anytime I just see his face, but he's not teaching me though. I'm really grateful to God for that because I was really praying I would never have any encounter with him again. But then I see him on campus and I'm worried. Yes, and that's the day going through what I'm going through again because... <sighs> Purity further recounts how she was raped and sexually abused growing up but did not tell her parents. Dad was very busy and my mom was always traveling. And so we had this lesson teacher who would come and teach me before my siblings would come home from school because as in primary school I always close early. Yeah, that's how it started. It started from him teaching me and after teaching me he gets to use his fingers on me and touch me inappropriately. And that went on for like six months. It was a very traumatizing experience. One day, my, I think my mom was around and we were going to church that morning and she, I think I was wasting time in the bathroom and she decided to come in the bathroom and then she realized that I was bleeding and I wasn't normal down there. Scared and these things, when it happens, he told me that if I tell anybody, he would tell them it was my fault. She says she gave up thinking being sexually harassed was her fate. Therefore, seeking psychological help is not an option. The first time it happened, nothing happened. The second time, I got pregnant. But don't you think it, is, it will be good for you to seek some psychological help? I don't know if it will help because I would have to go through everything again in my head and when this recent one happened with the lecturer, I was thinking, okay, this has not happened twice in my life and the second one was really crazy. So maybe I would just go through this thing normally. I think going for psychological help would just make things worse for me.